everybody, it's Deacon Chris for your St. Patrick's Weekly Connection. Last week we heard in the Gospel of Matthew of the calling of the Twelve. The Twelve, of course, apostles who would carry out the ministry of Jesus Christ. And I always love this particular part of the Gospel because it's, you don't know which way the story's gonna go, right? You don't know if uh, Matthew, who's a tax collector, is gonna be like, yeah, no, I'm good, I'm gonna stay collecting taxes, or if Peter as a fisherman is like, you know, I'm not the best fisherman, but I'm gonna continue to, uh, you know, try my hand at fishing. It's wonderful because God comes to each and every one of us as an invitation, right? He invites us to participate in his life in the world. And because we have that free will, we can choose either yes to accept that invitation as the first apostles did, or we can choose to reject that invitation. And God gives us that freedom. If we accept that invitation, the good news is, is the kingdom of God is at hand. In other words, the kingdom of God is not something that we are going to journey to at the end of our lives, but rather that the kingdom of God is alive today, this very day. And that changes everything, doesn't it? It means that everything we say, everything we do, hopefully, right, hopefully, will be an indication that the good news of the gospel is true. And so that's a huge challenge, I think, for us as Catholic people, as Christian people, to bring that to life in our daily lives. So how do we do it? And that's a question that I think only you and I, praying to God, can really find out or come to an understanding on. I hope everybody has a great week, and we'll see you real soon.